So this is another video. I today is uh, 13 February and tomorrow is San Valentine's Day and I have no present for my boyfriend and he has he said two presents so I definitely need to come up with something so I'm going to make a hoodie really fast because it's already evening and I decided to record the process so really really fast I have to make it and make a video for you I hope you will enjoy it I'm going to use this pattern this is Russian website but they have it in English here so I will leave the link to this pattern in the description you will be able to buy this pattern too if you want to and this will be the model so basically just the hoodie like this uh, so my boyfriend is not at home and I took his old hoodie and I want to measure uh, so it should be 55 56 centimeters and here the length is around 85 together so this will help me to make approximately the same size because I don't want it to be too small and at the same time I don't want it to be too huge so I'm going to make these notes and uh, make sure I make something similar so this is the material that I have I have this footer I don't remember how much I bought it some time ago this fabric I'm going to use for cuffs I have thread and this kind of thing that goes in the hood and I'm going to make this hole for the hood so this is everything that I have for this project don't forget to steam your fabric or wash it i'm doing it really fast with steam and iron and um, this is um, this part of the fabric that i have from the footer so it's all over the place but it will be fine now i want to show you how to connect the pattern really fast so we're not going to cut out these sides we just cut uh, uh, cut off the corners all of them four of them and on every page i have separately a b c d and now we're going to connect them with tape and they connect like this you, when you cut off the corner you can see a little bit you see the the sec this line and this line so you match it here and here it's not very visible but still you can match you can see a little bit this line so it's fast way to connect the pattern so this is my pattern look we have these angles and it's not the lines are here not visible a little bit but it's really much faster to connect pattern like this and this page for some reason was missing i don't know maybe i didn't print it maybe it was the pattern so i just added the the white paper and just draw the line so now i'm going to cut it out and continue with making hoodie so these are my pattern details all of them and now i have to double check the length so in my boyfriend's hoodie it was 65 and I already measured that it's too long so I marked that 65 is here I'm going to cut this extra and here it should be 55 this is uh, only half of the front detail so uh, it should be 27 and a half and it's too small so we have to add two centimeters on this side so I'm going to fix this a little bit look all details are pin this is my pocket sleeves Look here, I added two centimeters to make it wider as we decided. And because uh, the armhole also longer here, I added also two centimeters here and here. And I also don't like that this part is a bit too narrow. This will be the area of the cup. I added one centimeter here and connected it with the line. And I'm ready to cut it out, uh, all these details. Okay, all details are ready. Look, these are the, the lowest part. Uh, I made it from another fabric, the stretchy one. Uh, and I also have somewhere cuffs. Wait, I need to find them. So, sleeves, pocket, hood, two pieces. Oh, yes, this is these are cuffs. So this is from another material, the not the wide one, but the narrow one. So we make these two details from the other material. About the hood, this is the place where we're going to have this metal stain. So what I did, I just um, marked it like this. And now I will try to, to understand how it works because I never did it before, but it should work. So next, this stays the same, but this part goes like this. And now,
I guess this goes in the hole. Mm -hmm. So this part goes in the hole. White goes to this detail. This is my metal thing. And on top, I put this one and carefully I close it. Yeah, can I work? My part of the hood is ready and now I'm going to start with pocket. So what I did, we need to press this detail like this. This is pocket entrance and we're going to stitch here and here. Okay, I stitched pocket entrance with two stitches and now we have to go to the iron and fold one or one and a half centimeter here and press it and the same with side here and with the side here. I pressed side, the top and the other side and now we pin this to the front tail. Look, before I pinned I folded it double matching here and I made a small cut here it will be middle of my pocket and now this middle of my pocket should match this part this is middle of the front okay so this is how we're going to pin it so I pinned the mark middle with the middle I pinned this side this and this and now we're going to connect only these three sides the bottom we don't have to connect so let's do this Okay, pocket attached, one, two, three stitches here and now front and back we connect the sides, this is my back detail, right sides together, we connect shoulders, we connect sides and the same here. And uh, at the same time I want to pin my sleeves, so we connect it like this, right sides together and stitch this part. Okay, so I connected all the stitches, the sleeves, and now it's time to connect sleeves to the armhole and make sure you attach and you connect these notches, these marks, the sleeve and the, the armhole, uh, the, the cut should match. So my boyfriend came home, he wasn't at home and I said that he cannot go in this room because I'm preparing a present for him and he thinks that I'm making socks for him, which is quite funny, it's not socks, but okay, I hope he doesn't hear this. Uh, so I pinned the sleeves, I will show you how it looks. So my sleeves are inside and I'm stitching it like this. And the same with the other side. Okay, sleeves connected, this and this one. Now hood. These are my two hood details. Again, right sides together. So we're going to connect this side and this is smaller hood that goes inside. We connect this curvy line too. And now we have to connect right sides together, these two parts. So it's going to be one piece. So this part we connect. I'm going to pin it and show you. Look what I have. So inside goes this small hood and you pin it right sides together. Yes, and now we're going to stitch it like this and zigzag. So look, I pinned the cuts here, the middle of the hood. I also pinned um, this part so have the same distance everywhere and now this will be visible part so this will be outside and I marked here um, the cut actually the cut is located three centimeters from the edge so I marked three centimeters everywhere and I made a line this is my line and we have to stitch top stitch like this so we have a space for the like thread here inside so I'm going to go with three stitch like this. Okay, stitch made here. I finished this. I also connected inside a little bit with hand stitch two hoods together. So it's not going to move all the time. 
and now we're going to connect hood to the armhole we have marks uh, we have marks on the hood so I guess this have to match with shoulders with shoulders and we're going to have an overlap so these are these are two marks for these two I think so let's try to pin it okay pins here we have an overlap so the mark so one one cut here this is beginning of this part and the other cut here beginning of this we have we have an overlap on the front and we pin it around the stitches I pinned the cuff <coughs> so the cuff is smaller and now when we will stitch we will need to stretch it out and stitch around okay cuff stitched they look very nice I really like them this fabric is a bit different from what I normally buy but I think it matches very good okay next uh, the bottom and this will be the last step for us okay these are my pieces uh, we stitch it right sides together here and here and it will be the same what we did with the sleeves I pinned this bottom part and now we're going to stitch it the last piece hi everyone I have a small problem with my hoodie and I need to fix it now this is already after 14th of February but the hoodie my boyfriend really liked it but it is a little bit short so the hoodie that I used as an example was a bit short for him even though it looked fine but he said he wants it to be longer so we're going to make the hoodie longer now I will show you what you have to do look this is the hoodie and um, my boyfriend told me that the hoodie that I took as an example was short for him and it's better if I use another uh, hoodie that he has and look I matched uh, the shoulders and it's indeed a bit short so let's see we need to add like five more centimeters to this option so what I'm going to do I'm going to open up this stitch this uh, elastic and also I want to remove the pocket uh, and I will attach another piece uh, I will show you this step by step look this is the pocket and I uh, disconnected elastic also we only have like the base and this unfinished end and uh, we need we wanted to add five centimeters piece here but actually because we have seam allowance on the top five uh, on the top one centimeter and one centimeter here it should be seven centimeters so I made two pieces seven centimeters high it will be one will be the front and the back detail and we should cut it off the same length that we have like this this piece two pieces like this and of course we have seam allowance so you can measure the length and add two centimeters uh, in my case I just put it like this so I have one centimeter extra and I need scissors one second so I'm going to also just by eye because I have quite a lot of experience so one centimeter here and one centimeter here just going to make a cut like this and I know this is my length and I will divide this piece into details and um, next step I will show you I have my two pieces prepared look these are two pieces and we connect them right sides together and stitch the short side here and short side here the same like we did with two sides of the hoodie look so now we have this piece I already started to pin it it's like a circle and I pin it to the bottom of my uh, hoodie so the pocket was here and now right sides together I pin matching the bottom of the hoodie with the side of this strip so I pinned one side now and I will do the second one now and we stitch it together just this round shape look this part is connected what I do now I will not do zigzag here because I want to go to the iron and press it open with this fabric it's okay if we don't do any zigzag um, nothing will happen with the fabric but if I will press it open it will be less visible and more flat on this side 
you can go um, on zigzag separately if you want on this and this side uh, but it's also fine if we skip this step so look this is the piece that I'm con uh, connected this is how it looks on the side and I'm thinking I'm not sure but maybe to make a decorative stitch here and here because this seam allowance is even I, if I pressed it it's moving all the time so with this stitch it will be connected this is decorative stitch it's not ne necessary to keep everything together so you can make it or you can skip it so it's up to you I will try to make it and see how it looks um, to be honest I don't know maybe I will uh, remove the stitch later look I made these two it's called top stitch two decorative stitches I think it looks good together so I'm going to leave it and now next step for us we need to basically put back uh, the pocket where do I have my pocket yeah so this is my pocket it's going to be here what we have to do as always we need to find middle of the front so if you connect two sides stitches these are stitches of my side it's not very convenient to show you but here it will be the middle and you make a small cut or you can measure the length and divide it by two and make a mark and here we have this small cut I made it first time so this cut is the middle of the pocket middle of the pocket goes to the middle of the front and you pin and stitch the same way how we did it before three sides top and two sides so one two three sides okay pinned and now I will stitch it it's not that convenient as we did it first time because I already have the back attached first time we did it only one to the front part right um, now we have this extra layer make sure you don't connect it to the back by mistake so you only connect pocket to the front okay look this is the pocket attached one two three stitches and now the last step elastic the same way how we did it before we stretch it out and pin the sides and then the rest so this step i will not show you you already know how to do this and next i will show you the result okay this is the result i really like the hoodie i'm happy that i made it in three hours to be honest i didn't expect that it will be that fast but my boyfriend also liked the hoodie, the only thing that he wanted me to make it longer, I fixed that. So now he's very, very happy. And um, yeah, it's quite simple pattern. Uh, I think it's good for beginners. Uh, if you want to repeat it after me, I have a link to this pattern in the description. So you can just uh, buy this pattern and repeat all the steps together with me. Thank you for watching this video. I wish you very cool sewing project. Do not give up if you are a very beginner and struggle with uh, a lot of things. You will get very cool results, just practice. And I hope to see you in my next videos. Bye bye. And by the way, don't forget to follow me on my Instagram, TikTok, maybe Facebook if you want to. I'm posting a lot of sewing tips and tricks there. Uh, so if you follow me, you will learn a lot of new things.